Hi everyone, it's Nami Kananko. Happy Saturday to you all. I have my tulips blooming today, so I just thought I'll have it in front of me. Um, God is so faithful. I just want to encourage you today and build your faith, no matter what you're facing today. I want to encourage you. Be a people who believe in God. Be a people who trust in God. And today I want to take uh, my scripture was, uh, yesterday was our Bible small group, and we were talking about Luke chapter 4. And then we were talking about uh, the city of the town of Nazareth, where Jesus was born. Jesus goes to this uh, place, and he goes to the synagogue, and he takes a book of Isaiah, and he reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he reads the scripture verse, and says that he has been called to heal the sick, to open the eyes of the blind. When he finished reading, he says, This scripture has been fulfilled today. When he says that, that this scripture has been fulfilled, the people get so angry. They said, how can it be? How can it be? This is, uh, do, isn't this Joseph's, the carpenter's son? Isn't this Jesus, the carpenter's son? How can he be telling that the scripture is fulfilled? The scripture will be only fulfilled when the Messiah comes. So they fight against him. They are angry at him. And you know that Jesus couldn't do any miracles. He couldn't do perform any mighty acts in Nazareth because of their unbelief. So we're going to learn these three things that these people had in their heart that they couldn't receive the blessing from God, that they couldn't be blessed by God, that they couldn't receive from God, that the mighty acts of God couldn't be accomplished in their lives. The first one was that their unbelief they were not believing they were limiting jesus and they couldn't believe that joseph's son jesus is the messiah that god has sent to the world they were waiting for a mighty warrior and a king's son to be the ruler and the messiah for them but they couldn't believe they had unbelief in their heart they didn't believe the holy spirit they didn't believe the word of god so whenever we want a miracle, a mighty miracle in our lives, in my life, what I have to do is believe in the word of God, believe his word, believe in Jesus and we will be saved. Believe in Jesus and mighty miracles will start performing in our life. I know for my children, for my life, I am believing for mighty miracles and I need to believe in God. I need to trust in God and believe in God. And the second one, the people of Nazareth were missing, was their pride. They were prideful. They were thinking, this is Joseph's son. How can he tell us that he is the Messiah? How can he tell us the scriptures fulfilled? They were full of pride. They didn't want, they didn't want to bow down to Jesus. They didn't want to uh, come under some un who is less person to be under them, to be over them. They were very prideful. So if you are feeling pride in your heart, if you think that you don't, you can't beg God you can't talk to God why do I have to ask God for help I can do it myself and you are feeling the pride in your heart then God cannot do or perform any miracle in your life so you need to surrender your life and come under the authority and mighty hand of God and say father I surrender my life I'm sorry for being proud I'm sorry for being proud I'm sorry for my ego lords I surrender I want to be humble teach me soften my heart I remember in Israel the people of Israel were in Egypt the Pharaoh was so proud how many times the plagues came every time he asked them to pray and it went away and he hardened his heart he was proud so God couldn't do any mighty things in Nazareth because the people of Israel the people in Nazareth they were proud so help us. Let's pray to God that we will be humble so that God would use and soften our heart that we would not be proud. And the third one that that God couldn't use, God couldn't do mighty at mighty things is was their attitude. Their attitude towards God. They were grumbling. They were they were not waiting with expectancy from God. Their attitude was really, really towards being discouraged towards attitude of unbelief and attitude the attitude as soon as you get up in the morning the way you think the attitude when someone comes and argues with you how will you react the way that you react your attitude it all 
applies to the way God can use something and do a mighty act in your life. So your attitude is needed. A humble attitude is needed. You have to be willing to look at the picture the way that God wants to see. Even though the world around you might be clashing, even though the, the whatever promises that you don't see the reply yet, your attitude of believing in God, your attitude of knowing that God is faithful, that is so important for God to act. So the people of Nazareth, they couldn't see the mighty miracles because of their attitude. So let's humble ourselves and let's come to God and let's ask God to give us the belief that we need and help us to be having the right attitude to receive from God. God is able. God is able. So I want to um, read to you from Psalm 28, um, 7. This was a scripture verse that I just recently heard and I it touched my heart. And I want to put my name and your name in this scripture and read it together. It is from Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. Let's put our name there. The Lord is Naomi's strength and Naomi's shield. Naomi's heart trusts in him, and God helps Naomi. Naomi's heart leaps for joy, and with Naomi's song I will praise him. We will praise him. Put your name on that Bible verse, Psalm 28 verse 7, and say that God, I trust in you. I believe in you. I put my hope on you. I am not prideful. I'm not unbelieving. I'm going to have a good attitude and I'm not going to know that you are working in my life for your glory, for your purpose, for your mighty acts, and that God will do mighty acts through your life. Nazareth couldn't receive the mighty acts because of their pride, because of their unbelief, before, because of their attitude, but because that you trust God, because your love for God, God is able to do mighty acts in your life. I hope you were blessed today. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you. We love you, Lord, with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our might. Lord, we surrender to you and we say, Lord, we trust in your name. You are my strength and my shield and my heart trust in you, Lord. Lord, I ask you forgiveness for my pride. Ask you forgiveness for my unbelief. Ask you forgiveness for my attitude. Lord, help me to trust in you so that you can perform a mighty miracle in my life. Help me to humble and surrender myself that you can do mighty things in our life. Commit everything and everyone to your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Having Jesus in my heart was the best thing that happened to me. So if you have never accepted Jesus into your heart, ask Jesus and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive my sins and I surrender everything. Come into my heart. I want to trust you, believe in you. In Jesus' name. So I just want to sing one worship song today. Um, this song I sang with my devotionals as well. And this is a song that's in my heart. And how much I sing, I still love to sing it because it speaks volume. And God, it talks about the victor's crown. Jesus already have the victory. He has won the victory for us. How much struggles, how much trials, how much difficulties we are going. We got the victory in Jesus. And God is holding, Jesus is holding the victor's crown in his hand. So let's sing this song. You are always fighting for us, heaven's angels all around. My delight is found in knowing that you wear the victor's crown. You're my help and my defender. You're my savior and my friend. By your grace I live and breathe to worship you. At the mention of your greatness, in your name I will bow down. In your prayer presence fear is silent, for you wear the victor's crown. Let your glory fill this temple, let your power overflow. By your grace I live and breathe to worship you. Hallelujah. You have overcome. You have overcome, hallelujah. Jesus, you have overcome the world. 
you are ever interceding as the loss becomes so fun you can never be defeated for you wear the victor's crown you are jesus the messiah you're the hope of all the world by your grace i live and breathe to worship you hallelujah you have overcome you have overcome hallelujah jesus you have overcome the world at the cross the work was finished you were buried in the ground but the grave could not attain you for you wear the victor's crown every high thing must come down every stronghold must be broken you wear the victor's crown you have overcome you have overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you have overcome you have overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you have overcome you have overcome god is always fighting for us and he's already won the victor's crown for you and me so believe in god trust in him put your heart your hope in him know that god is able to help you have a wonderful day with your family happy saturday to you all god bless you bye